in the black t-shirt, the very understated color, is Paul Drinkle from England. Playing some lovely stuff here over the last couple of days. Had some impressive wins earlier this week. Age 27. Hopefully to get Team Rossi out of a little bit of a hole after that previous match. And now we move to the Korean star. Juicy Hook, current ranking of 17. It's been as high as five after his chopping display at the 2003 World Championships getting to the final. And the very presentable Winnie Che is still our referee. Well, it's England's number one to get us underway here. Oh. What a <laughs> rally to start us off. Juicy hook, two wigglies. Jumped off the drinkle racket there from the Juice hook chop. Just shows you how much cut and how much sizzle's coming off the ball. Nice. Oh, that ball kicked up like a mule. Jumped at 90 degrees. Would have been very easy to have fresh aired that one. And look at the early timing off that. Trinkle, generally comfortable against Chop. His wife is one of the, the top defensive players and Britain's number one as well. So he's used to playing against the defensive style. Let's remember back to their magical result in the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Mixed doubles gold medalists against other English pairing of Tintin Ho and Liam Pitchford. Magical stuff for the husband and wife duo. Oh. Well, that ball's a lot harder than a lift. It arrived to the Drinkle racket, but it was absolutely sizzling with spins. Very good, Paul Drinkle. Looking nice and relaxed out there. Six, three. And a nice heavy service delivery there as well. Very good table tennis all round. And I'm sure Jörg Roskoff is appreciating what he's seeing from his man. This is where Drinkle is at his absolute best. Drew pushing him deep into the table. Getting around there, playing a forehand, absolutely athletic stuff. Let's four seven. Eight, four. Nice little flick out. It's important because Jew is sometimes looking to attack directly after his service. You've got to put pressure on him. Eight, four. Trinkle b will prefer when Juicy Hook is away from the table defending. Straight chop absolutely cut in half from the drinker racket. That's a good miss though. Paul just smiling there at himself saying, that's all right. 
I'm playing well. I'm four points up, and it's 9-5. A bit of deception there in the receive. Not too often, Drew misses a little push like that. There it is. A very quick 11 games to five. If you play too much on forehand, then you play tops and tops against it. But then really you have to move better. Yeah, yeah you play yes. top spin and be in control for the next one. Yeah. Nice again. Second game. To hear the, the dialogue between coach no. and player. Both players return very quickly to the same side of the table as the first set. We only change after two sets here, ladies and gents, in the T2 cavern in Johor, Malaysia. Her start for the Korean. Oh. Three. Just no racket head speed there off the Drinkle forehand. Played oh. that ball with too much hesitation. Came up instead of going forward with the racket. Three, one. Important when you're playing against one of the world's best choppers to win one or two of these scrappy points as well. Yeah. That is absolute Three. evidence of Paul Drinkle playing some of the best table tennis of this season. Look at the way he just puts this forehand away right into our commentary box. Almost took that one just a little bit too early. A little bit too early there. You can see the racket head speed slowed down and he just kind of lent too much to the side, caught it wrong in the racket. Important when you're playing against Chop that you do loop right out of the very tip of the racket. That's where the ball travels the fastest. That's where you gain a little bit more speed as well. is Drinkle's got a strong backhand but still against defense get your forehand in oh you have to appreciate that little smile from the Drinkle face knew how big that was the bench knew too smiles all around at that Roger Federer no. backhand, <laughs> very loose. Five, six. That ball just checked up there, sitting on the table, didn't arrive to the drinkle racket. Very, very difficult against this high level of defense. Wonderful, went against the spin there to change it down the line. This is an awesome matchup, ladies and gents. So with just over 15 minutes to go, six the excitement is right there at six all. What absolute feeling from the Drinkle racket. Much, much difficult to comprehend that shot at home. Really feeling the ball out wide. Ah, that's absolutely stunning from Jew. Last second, turn of the hip, very deceptive. 
Paul thought it was going cross court to his backhand. No, no, no. Straight for a clean winner. An important service sequence now. Oh, taxi for Mr. Juicy Hook as that ball sailed right down the line past him. Knew as soon as he made contact with that one, it wasn't going anywhere. Crazy how these players know as soon as they make contact with the ball if it's going to be a good shot or it's going to be a bad shot. Another squeal of anguish from Drinkle there. Knows he has two bad unforced errors at the crucial match of the game. Juicy Hook now leads 9-8. Oh, he chooses his moments to attack. Dimitri Offdraft there, not quite believing what he is seeing from Juice Hook. So two well-deserved game points for Juicy Hook. Oh, and that's one of the scrappy points we were talking about earlier. So crucial, even in the men's game. Get a few cheap little points, rattle the nerves of Juice Hook. Very key for Drinkle here. 10 9 down. Oh, and he's shouting the house down. He's looking right over at Roscoff. He's stepping into the Terraflex floor as well. So here we go. Boys and girls, it's 10 all. It's sudden death. Forehand, sudden death. Look at the whistles in here. Lovely change of direction. Drinkle pulling a short stuff, knew that was an absolute unforced error, but pushed by Juice Hook to make it. Burned at shocks. One of them will be appearing shortly, I assume, if they're both warming up. Both still to play, though. Not relaxing this one. Come on. Rossi telling Drinkle, just relax. Play your game. You're playing well. It's now or never. So here we go. One set all, but person six one up on Team Rossi. Demoralizing scoreline coming up for Team Rossi. Was down. Signaled straight away by Drinkle there. No hesitation. One love. Beautiful touch there. Okay, it's earlier. He's doing more on the receive of serve. Is the English lad? Not so cleanly hit there from Drinkle Racket. Quickly apologising. A lot of respect between these top athletes. Yeah, that was a wonderful reloop there. Again, from the Juicy Hook forehand wing. That ball checking up on the table. Remember here, when we're using lots of different table tennis balls, seven or eight throughout a match, there's not so much chalk that's lost from the ball, so that's going to be advantageous for the defensive player. Drinkle signaling there. Yeah, I'm going to play that one a little bit higher here. 
have a swing at that, do you say hook? Oh, it's early, it's flary, it's fiery. That's what Paul Drinkle's all about. Lovely little flat nothing serve there to start up the rally. For our fellow commentator, who's at home at the moment, Richard Drew. We'd have appreciated a couple of blocks Go there that, that Drinkle played. <laughs> Correctly, Jew. Huge lead in this third set. Well deserved from Drinkall. He needs to keep the concentration and momentum up now. Again, another flat, nothing serve. Getting back a little bit less spin, even though it's a little bit lower over the net. A lot easier for the Drinkall forehand to par through. Didn't really get his body around that one, nope. A little bit slow and hesitant. But G, in fairness, hasn't played a lot of the first balls there. Five, ten. Ten, six. Absolute rocket to the middle of the table there. So now we're down to four game points for Team Rossi and Drinkle. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The left hand a lot. And the man from Loftus in England. Got to be delighted with that. Especially be ready in service and return for half long Jules, balls where you can back. rush on, yeah? yeah? You've got to feel absolutely okay, comfortable Jules, with Jorg Roskoff in your corner against defence. Janov Waldner called him the best player against defensive, especially because he had a big backhand to follow through. It's an uphill battle now. One of Korea's finest ever players. Ovtarov <laughs> 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 is in the court. He's got to be appreciating this. It's like there's no spin on it. He's making that look ridiculously easy. Juicy Hoots, only chance, you reckon, by attacking sometimes? Definitely, to, definitely needs to do something a little bit different. Paul Drinkle is chasing that chop like an absolute horse. He's motivated. And he's early, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. That's a second taxi called for Juicy Hook. And that's a very quick timeout called from Jorgen Persson.
but always be concentrated yeah, because he comes back when yeah, you attack. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Played well. Yeah? Come on. Yeah. Each point. Yeah? Mm -hmm. good, good concentration. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 and then maybe change a little. Yeah. Yeah. Play a little slow and try to yeah, win some easy points also. Okay. Jorgen Persson there saying to juice the hip, try and win some easy points. I don't think there's going to be many easy points against Baldrinkle. Oh, there it is! Motivation to rip that ball. in the head for Drinko, rightly so. He shouldn't be missing a serve like that. Yeah. Another big shout. He's executing every one of these really tough top spins. Pop. Oh. Seven, three. Your That's ball is a... inside the table. The ball was inside the table, serving over the white line. Now that's not allowed, ladies and gents. Winnie Che remaining extremely sharp in the chair. Hand in head from Dimitri Alptrop, riding every shot to Paul Drinkle at the minute. that from wherever you are watching this one. Off drop, right out onto the court here. Come on, Paul. 7-5. Let's five, get you seven. over the line. Uh, I don't know if that was the right one to rip. And it's Paul Drinkle that signals a timeout. The cavern is electric here. It's good to play well, Paul. Yeah? Continue to play like this. Yeah? Yeah, if you're on top spin, continue. Go on. Yeah? It's good. Yeah? And sometimes take a bad return or bad service of the attack on this one. Yeah? Yeah? This. Yeah. this one, try foot back on you. Yeah. And if not, this one. So here we go. Six, it's seven. been wonderful stuff so far. And we have over three and a half minutes more to sit back and enjoy this one. Oh, the ball just checking up there. Drinkle missed timing it. Pretty unfortunate. Now level back, seven all. You could see that one had a little bit more chop on it and it was short from the table. Difficult to step in and hit that one. The pace that Drinkle was trying. Nine, seven. Just catching the ball a little bit too thick now. Needs to kind of slow it down. Get the first spin ball on the table and go from there. Do you want to miss your third ball? You can see here how pivotal timeouts are in the game. Someone comes back and gets on a run. So that's three game points now for the Korean star. That's better from the Drinkle racket. 
buries his head in the towel. He's sweaty. He's working so hard out there. Less than two minutes. If someone was to win this set now, we would go into a kill zone. An absolute rocket out of the park there. What rotation, what hip movement, what injection of pace from Frinkel. Oh, he was round the corner there. Wow. This has got to be some of the best table tennis of his life. So here we go. Sudden death. Oh, and the racket leaves his hand. Wow. It's at two sets all now. We are absolutely right in this, and we are heading for a KZ, a kill zone. Players' heart rates must be way up at the moment. It's a kill zone game. It's first to five points. For all, it would be a sudden death point. How fitting a way for this match to end. Here we go then. Trinkle to serve us, us, serve us up a treat first. A little bit fortunate. The Korean. Oh, it's just so early, the athleticism and the muscle. Here we are. This is absolutely ridiculous. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever needed a tutorial against defense, just watch England's number one, Paul Drinkle. Open the textbook at this page. Here we go. A good miss though. You've just got to nod and say, yep, all right. The guy's not a bad defensive player, is he? <laughs> Trinkle. Second serve then, here we go. Oh, I don't think anyone was gonna spin that up. <laughs> that was absolutely Absolutely cut in four, not even two. You. Who said that there is no spin in table tennis anymore? That was absolutely oh. minging. So here we go. Three points all in the kill zone. Oh, he's in first. Juicy Hook really manning up there, knowing the right time to attack and not defend. You can't teach Ball that. Three. And there it is, wow! How well did the older lad battle there? Smiles all round, smiles from Juicy Hook. We've just witnessed an absolute cracker there. It takes two to tango. And Paul Drinkle was every part 
of this unbelievable match. Look at the absolute elation coming from Juice Hook, rightly so. We're going to give you a feast here of stats and highlights. 34 forehand winners to 22. Wow. That was impressive from Drinkle. There's one or two more of the scrappy points in the kill zone that got Juicy Hook over the line. And you've got to appreciate the changes in the rules here. Kill zone games are really spicing this up. Juicy Hook knowing the right times to attack and to defend. Credit to Juicy Hook though, absolutely riding out the Drinkle Storm. Not many players can do that. So, an awesome display from both players. And it was Juicy Hook that managed to throw knives in the kill zone to win three sets to two.